You know, sometimes in life you have to set out to climb a mountain, even if you're not exactly sure how you're going to do it. And I've got a story that recounts the history of just such an effort. It's your story, our story, if you'll let an old veteran count himself part of that history with you. So I want you to hold a picture in your mind, a picture of blocks, endless blocks of ravaged city landscape, rubble, waste, despair, battered cars with no wheels, families afraid to go outdoors, druggies selling radiator pipes for fixed money. And I want you to remember that this picture could have been of any of several score American cities. You can find hundreds, thousands of those pictures in newspapers and magazines of the 1960s, the 1970s, the 1980s, Fewer in the 1990s, almost none in the 2000s. It's hard to recall, now that so much progress has been made, how huge, daunting, and uncertain it looked like. We were not sure, as a country or as a group of people in community development, that we knew how to do this. Sometimes you have to set out to climb a mountain, even if you're not sure how you're going to do it. Well, we did an awful lot of it. We turned it around. Ask yourself this. In a country so full today of wrangling and doubt and polarization in the public arena, what in fact have been the great domestic successes of the past 30 years? By my count, there were two large game-changing domestic successes not unrelated to each other. One was sharply lowering the crime rate through community policing and other techniques. And the second is what you did, establishing and then taking to scale the largest and most successful effort this country has ever known to rebuild neighborhoods. I think it's okay to feel good about what you've done. It is a huge achievement. I think it's okay to feel good about that for about 15 minutes because there are mountains out there and this organization is strong enough, special enough, seasoned enough and secure financially enough to climb some of them and few are. You are strong and few others are. You're strong enough to do it again. There are several mountains out there, but I'm going to focus on one. We have to design and test and show that we can make work a community-based model for getting low-income folks to work. Now, something like this needs testing, careful design, a lot of changes and refinement. But if we create a model that works fairly well, as well as we did in neighborhood renewal, let's say it puts 50% of those who enroll into continuing employment after a year we will then have something that has legs and something that all sorts of institutions and organizations and corporations will want to buy into. So as we take stock, as we celebrate here, and as we case out the mountains ahead, let's be sure we understand the talents and the values that made this organization strong in the first place, and let us hold fast to them. LISC understood from the beginning that the critical center of what it undertook was not bricks and mortar. Bricks and mortar were the vehicle. What the vehicle nurtured and created was human and cooperation, an ethic of responsibility and self-help, neighborhood values and mutual obligations. Your Building Sustainable Communities initiatives exemplifies that. LISC understood that scale and impact could only come from harnessing mainline investors to its special tasks, and that this required accountability, financial prudence, and absolute honesty and reliability. You have done that. And last of all, the point with which we began, LISC knew that to seek the most important goals and to take on the most difficult tasks, that you had to attack them with discipline and imagination. Those two talents so rarely, rarely found in one place. Discipline and imagination without knowing how or even whether success would come.
at the end. Let's remember that. Let's remember that we are the custodians and the partners of an organization and a spirit that are among the highest performing and rarest and most needed in this country today. And in that spirit, let's raise our glasses together, not to the past 30 years, but to the next 30. Thank you.